honestly speaking, some people who call themselves Yoruba people, not all of them, oh, some of them who are coming out with their full chest to say, oh, we want to vote for Tinubu just because it's a Yoruba person. Shame on all of you. Shame on all of you. What we are all suffering today, is it only the Northerners that are suffering it? Is it only those who supported uh, Buhari? Are they the ones suffering what we are suffering today? Those ones who are shouting, say Baba, say Baba, say Baba, despite all the flaws that people saw. And meanwhile, the same Tinubu that lured many people, especially those ones from the Southwest, to go and vote him. They are not even asking him questions. That is the hypocrisy we are talking about. You are not asking him, see, this is the man you campaigned for. This is the promises that you people made. You have not even been able to ask questions. If really you are enlightened, if really you are you are exposed the way you guys used to claim, you should be able to ask questions. I don't know why it is difficult for you people to ask questions. And I'm seeing a lot of people coming out. We are going to vote for Tinumbu because it's a Yoruba person. That is all. No matter what. If they just talk anything, the next thing you'll be talking about Igbos. What is wrong with you people? Those of you who are in that category, because it's not all of you who are in that category. And that is why Pa Ade Banyo has said that this is no matter of ethnicity or whatever. He himself is coming from a different angle and it's coming from a broader angle. Not uh, because it's by this. The other day, we, we saw one pastor saying that, how can I leave a, a Yoruba man and go and be voting for Igbo person? What does that go to do? All the kinsmen, all the people, because I, like I've always said, the real people are the everyday Nigerian, Nigerians on the streets. Forget all those, uh, some of the northerners who have having one position or the other. The day I, I just shook my head for Buari, after he became president in, in 2019, after the second time when he, he came on board on, in, in, in 2019, he was telling the the Kaduna people, uh, the Kano people, yes, yeah, so I have fulfilled my promises. What are his promises? Because they got uh, three people from that state, gave them mini ministerial appointments, and that is all. So the millions of people are now bound to the Philistines because you, are, you gave them those three people. If the, the appointments you gave to those people, is it to the benefits of the rest people in that zone or just because of those people are they i don't understand go and check all of them now they are still suffering and that's why some people say if there's opportunity of third time if buari wants to come you will still see all of them come out in droves but whatever that happens it is going to be for everybody so this is ethnicity you are the ones playing ethnicity see at atiku and tinubu see the see the see, see the nonsense things they are vomiting from their mouth no, the suffering that we are going through today, is it for the only yeah, 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 for, for only Igbos or is it uh, only Yoruba that are suffering it? Is it only Northerners that are suffering what we are going through today? It, it's not everybody that is suffering it. If you want to vote, see, the annoying thing is that because it's a Yoruba person, you are the ones spoiling this country. Those of you who are in that category, that's what we are talking about. You will come out and be telling us, hey, you have to vote for this. We have to vote uh, because of he's a Yoruba person. Or some people will come over because he helps me to he pay my school fees or he helps me to pay my uh, my life bill or house rent. Are people not helping people left, right and center? So does that mean because of that you're going to use it to rob everybody? And like I've always said, all the presidential candidates, your business, whatever they are saying is your business. If Peter B says anything and you're APC and you feel that what he has not said, and you are, it has to come from a place of sincerity, not you just want to criticize somebody just because of, of criticize, uh, uh, criticism. If Obi says what is not right, you are free to call him out and say, no, what you have said, even if you are supporting Tinubu or if you are in another party, you are free to call him out because he could be president tomorrow. And those are the things and nitty gritty that we need to all be dealing, dealing with before any of them becomes uh, the president. Whether Atiko, whether Tinubu, I don't really understand. We are going through the same the same problem. We are suffering. We are all experiencing the same problem that a Buari has created. Buari plus a Tinumbu. And they will come out and tell you I want to vote for Yoruba person. You guys should be ashamed of yourself at this age and time. And they will be telling you, oh, most they are the, they are the ones that will not come. Muslim Muslim ticket. It does not matter. We are talking of competence. When it comes to Muslim Muslim tickets, oh, they will be talking about competence. When people talk about why should it be Muslim Muslim, they say no, it has to be competent. They are, they are not, but uh, we should not be talking about religion. But when it comes to ethnicity, you'll be defending. Then who are you fooling? Who are you guys fooling? 
Is it because of a, 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 a inferiority complex? Because I see those people from the angle of inferiority complex. If you don't know what is happening, maybe you are, you are stuck in that Lagos or you are stuck in one of those places. You don't go out. You don't know what is happening. We have a lot, some Yoruba people who have really gone out. They, will not, they can't be reasoning like that. I believe those who have not even left their village, they, can't, they don't even know how to move. If you have gone to other places, you'll be able, maybe your understanding will be broader. They're just, just sticking in one place. And some of them are still coming. Hey, we know that El Tinubu has offended us. They are suffocating. They are choking in that Lagos. They are even, they are even complaining about. They are even eh, 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 shouting about. They are suffocating. They are choking. They say, oh, even if you are stolen, they know. They know. They don't know. They know the truth. So that is the annoying part of it. Unless it's, you want to say it's going to be president of Yoruba extraction, that is going to be president of Yoruba. Fine. If we have a, a, a what is it called, re restructuring or let there be division, then you have the Igbo, somebody who is coming from there, you can be Igbo president. As you could, like he's saying that uh, those people, they want a northern as a northern, a northern as a president. You can be a northern president or Harewa president, whatever you want to give to give to it. That is your own cup of tea. If you are talking about a uh, Yoruba, okay, Odudua nation has gotten their own independence. Yes, you can talk of, uh, about a uh, Yoruba this thing. And that is why Peter Obi is even better than all of them. And one of the, the chairman of that party or the coordinator of that party brought out a, a, a video. He said, don't vote for me because forget all those nonsense. And we are, me, even before the primaries of, uh, uh, the main primaries of APC and PDP, I've said it, this idea of, uh, uh, we want a ego presidency. No, if you don't get the right person, it's going to be business as usual. The person will still go there and say, it is my turn. Uh, let me do whatever I want to do. Uh, it is our turn. And they'll begin to do nonsense because we are not systemic. We don't have system in place. They will go, just go there and be recruiting their friends and, and cronies. If you don't have a good person, whether coming from ego extraction, and you put the person there, it's going to be, it's going to be rubbish. It's going to be rubbish. Because when you see some of the people, some of the Igbos who are in APC, if, if, they, if they are choosing any of them, it would have been worse than what we are even experiencing because they have nothing upset. They have nothing. It's all about me, 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 and me, and self. That is just all we are talking about. And some people now come and be telling us, eh, I will vote for this person because it's a Yoruba person. But when you are talking about Muslim, Muslim ticket, you'll be talking, if people complain about Muslim, Muslim ticket, you will not remember competence. But you come out with your full chest and be saying, oh, because it's a Yoruba person. You have already divided the country with your, with your action. Why are you so, why, why, why the inferiority complex? They say they want to, ah, some of them are saying, oh, if they vote Peter Obi, they will take over Lagos from them. I like, seriously, are you okay? Are you normal? How can it, how, how can that be possible? How can that be possible? And that's why they have brought a lot of propaganda. They are going to do this. They are going to use sentiments to, to, to do this. See, there's no need to, for anybody to be persuading anybody or be begging people vote for this person. Vote vote according to what you have experienced. But, but when it talks, people have said, let us go away with this uh, ethnicity and and uh, religion. You are the ones, you are, be, you are going to be preaching competence and in another breath, you'll be talking about ethnicity is the, is the, just because it's a Yoruba person. Ah, it's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. 